I don't want to get a nosebleed. How high up is uh, Sun Valley? Sundance. Not the same place. <laughs> Wake me. I'm blonde. Okay, they're different. Because so I've been a couple. I'm not a skier. I'm working my way up to pathetic. So I really just like to go to the mountains when it's sunny and warm. Okay, I'm going to have some more of the calamari. Oh, that's a huge one. Look how huge that is. How did you get into this business? Through my mother. She's an actress. And my father started a talent agency here in the Midwest which was the first one in Kansas City, which is where we are right now. So he used to ship us off for a lot of extra work that paid absolutely squat. I was one of the original Filthy Tide kids back in the 60s, and we did still shots for like Look Magazine and Life. Remember those? Michael Douglas's first movie was shot here, a real stinker. Ugh. I don't know what the name of it finally turned out to be, but... It was bad. Sissy SpaceX first movie was here. That was a stinker also. But I got to be like in the bleachers and the hallways and many other places for these particular films. And that's how, you know, I kind of did all that. And then I started working in a photography studio. And from that, I evolved into getting into being a makeup artist and wardrobe stylist. And that's what I do now. And I have for 25 years. I do. I, I really love it because... You know, it's akin to making out with somebody. You're in their face, you're in, putting clothes on them. It's about as intimate as you can get without going steady, really. You know, really. People keep telling me I look like Bonnie Hunt. And I love Bonnie Hunt. I think she's hysterical. We want more of Bonnie. But people think I look like Bonnie. I think it's the hair. Maybe it's the hair. No. Both, both. You know, the bigger they are, the easier they are, really. But real people, you know, I understand what it's like to be nerve-wracked, thrown out into the lion, lion den, of 20 people staring at you, wanting you to perform, and you don't know what the hell they're talking about. What is your love life? Oh, oh God. Really? Okay, let me make up something. But most dates are okay. They try. But you know within five minutes whether or not you want to play tongue twister with this guy. You know if there's any physical thing besides, God, I just want to hang out here for 45 minutes and eat the dessert. But I also like to drive, <clears throat> which men don't like. And they really throw a fit, particularly after you do it after like the sixth date. But that freedom of knowing you can always get out gracefully is wonderful. But I had one guy that just would not permit it, would not permit it, insisted on picking me up. And so I had to kind of like get with the real dating program. When, you know, you're actually picked up and delivered. What are the ones that cruise by your house uninvited after you've just had lunch? They know what you're doing. You know, are you gardening? I'm like, what are you talking about? I haven't talked to you in a week. Yeah, you know, you know they're cruising by. And they become very controlling very quickly. You know, they're going to solve all your parental problems. <laughs> and of course, they don't have kids. So you've got the attention span of a gnat listening to this. You know, it's all you can do to get them shush up and get them out of there before the neighbors call the police. But yeah, those, those are the scary guys. They come on you like a bad virus, and it's hard to shake them down. Yeah. I don't know, I hate bras. I hate bras. But you reach an age after 40 where they expect you to wear a bra, and they're horrified if you don't. Horrified. Like, what kind of, you know, who bag are you? You don't have your bra on. And luckily, I've been, you know, pretty graced with being small-chested most of my life. And now, in, you know, my menopausal years, I've gotten a little thick, as they say. Like, I don't even know. Like, what do you usually buy? Like, oh, a 36A. She measured me. And to this day, I'm still, you know, like, drinking about it. Because, oh, no, you're a 34 double C. I, how can you be this far off? <laughs> They're $80 a piece. Honest to God, $80 a piece for one of these contraptions. I'm blue. Well, I only bought two. So I put on my sports bra, like I was really going to go to the gym. 
but unfortunately, it makes you look like two eggs over easy. You know, it's like, why bother with this? But it calms down that nipple thing, and that's what bothers people. So you got to get that to all calm down, and then you can go out. Pedro, so how long have you been here? A uh, year and a half already. Already? Yeah. Got look at these eyes. You got the greenest uh -huh. eyes. Pedro? Oh, I love that name. It's so sexy. Yeah. It is. Yeah. I really do. I, they're just... <laughs> I don't know. Do you date? Absolutely. You do? Absolutely. Well, I notice you're not panicking like, not, like no, a not Mrs. At all. Robinson thing <laughs> happening. Hey, I'm yeah, not yeah. So you do you date older women? Absolutely. Yes, Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Oh my word! You dance too? Yes. Ooh. So do you date younger men? I do. I try yeah. to all the really? time. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Good yeah. You're wonderful. Oh, thank you. Pedro, thank you. what's your middle name? Arturo. 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 Oh, yeah, that Arturo. is sexy. Yeah. What's your last name? Morales. Oh, that is really, ooh, that just kind of all goes uh, together, doesn't it? Pedro Arturo Morales, yeah, just kind of... I'll say that again, yeah, that is dreamy. Pedro Arturo Morales. Ooh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> You're a good back rubber, yeah. Oh, no. A little oil is even better. Ow! Well, we've made everybody jealous around us, that's for sure. You just have to know what you want, I guess. That's the secret of being over 40. Know what you want. So menopause can be fun? It can. It really can. It can. If you're on the right meds. But that's key. And trying to get your meds together is such an ordeal. It's like a full-time job. Some are really fun to live with. I, I like living with men. I like being married. You know, staying married seems to be a real problem, though. People that have never been divorced don't have any idea how many times you have to make copies of that paperwork. It's unbelievable. There's so many things to get a credit card. You know, whatever. You gotta come up with all this paperwork that says, okay, I'm a loser, I made a mistake. And it's 83 pages of, I'm a loser, I made a mistake, and this is what happens now. And it's, ah! If I had known this, I would have just shacked up and bought a duplex. You know, when you pay for those divorces and the wedding, because they have to even have to shoot once, you gotta do both. You go, what in the hell was I thinking about? You know? Maybe just rent somebody. You know, you can come out better on the deal. You just rent them for a week or two at a time. It's not quite as expensive. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. He left me already. Oh, I was going to give him some cash. Darn it. Okay, I'll give him some cash. Yeah. Because he was adorable. I do really want to run off with him. I'll leave him a little personal note because he was cute. Is he always that sweet? Or is it just on Fridays? No, he's always so sweet. He is? God, I love his name, too. It just rolls off the tongue. He likes the gentleman as well. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, he plays for both teams. Okay, what an athlete. Okay, that's good. So did you get yourself an Explorer or King Cab? I think so, yeah. Big, big tires. Oh, that's so I funny. Oh, no, They're trucks are tires. sexy. Yeah, I got a truck, a red one. I'm telling you people, really? these really? cowboys were honking me like mad. Really? That's really and I had to keep reminding myself I was in a truck. I didn't know what they were after because I was moving these buttload of bricks. Well, this is nice. Never again. Write checks, make calls. You can get so much more done. I, I just want to tell Bonnie, like, you got this series, your fifth time up to bat. Friends has been feng shui their whole set, and look what happened to them. Nine years I've been on the air, God Almighty. I'll come out, I'll help you, I'll fix your lipstick, whatever you need, a little under eye correction. And we can do the set too, you know. And I can be your stand in. I am willing to come out there for you, girl. I am. Or I can be your dysfunctional sister, your older sister, of course. You must be much younger than me. Who's divorced with a couple of kids. And, you know, I just don't think these really just bust them in to have relationships with. I think that will give us like a huge fodder of, you know, comic, entertainment, different things we can just like take off on. Mm -hmm. Just get your makeup artist to do